Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're gonna talk about training and why just going to the gym is not good enough. Let's dive in. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Glad you are here. As mentioned always in the introduction, we're going to talk about today why just going to the gym isn't good enough and just showing up really isn't going to do a whole lot for you. What I mean by that specifically is this. You have to focus on the quality of your training sessions. What do I mean by quality of your training sessions? Well, if you've been to a gym, and I'm guessing you have, or maybe you haven't, but if you do go to the gym for the first time, some people, it is a new environment, you're gonna see a ton of different people. You're gonna see people who are more advanced or just starting out or maybe trying to get back in shape or go all the time. You'll see some of the same faces, you'll see new faces. Anyways, there's a lot of different people. And over time, as you go and you continue to go consistently, you start to notice a lot of things. And you'll see some people, depending on what gym you go in, every gym is so different. And we'll talk about that in a second as well. But the quality of your training, when you go in and you look at these different people doing these different things, you're gonna be some, you're gonna see some people that are just zoning out and they're just kind of looking around. They just wanna get out of the house and they're just kind of sitting on the machine. Or maybe they're on like an elliptical machine and they're reading a book and they're they're like doing their cardio and they're you know reading their book or watching a show. Then you're gonna see people in there in a full sweat that are like <sighs> walking around like can barely breathe. They, you know they're dripping. They you know, got their water ball and you can tell. In other words, you can tell the people who are really getting after it and the people that are not. And so what I've noticed is this: the quality of your training is everything. I would rather have you go three times a week and get some really good quality training sessions and where you really push yourself and there was a high intensity level and then go five days and just grab ass on the elliptical and just watch a TV show and think that you're exercising. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're obese or you just want to get out of the house and that is your intention, that's fantastic. Just go and just do any type of physical activity. I'm all for it. I'm not trying to you know, say that's a bad thing or it's not gonna help you. What I'm focusing on and what this video is for is for people who are really trying to change their physique and you're really trying to change your body, you have got to make a conscious, concerted, intentional effort every time you step in the weight room to push yourself and create an intensity level that really challenges you mentally and physically. Now, how can you tell if you're having a quality training session or not? Let's be honest, you know. You know, just don't lie to yourself. <laughs> you know, that's really all it takes sometimes is just being honest with ourselves. If, you know, I were to ask you, hey, how is your nutrition? And you're like, oh, it's good. You know, you know if it's good or if it's bad. Or I'm like, hey, how have your workouts been going? You know damn well, regardless of what you tell another person internally, if you get honest with yourself and you look at yourself in the mirror when no one else is around, you can tell yourself honestly what the answer is. You know, there's no lying. So you've got to create an intensity level that really pushes you and challenges you. So I'll get into some of the, I'm not gonna get real scientific, but I'll, I'll, I'll say it like this. The reason it's so important for you to have a high intensity and quality training sessions is the whole process of changing your body is about stimulation, adaptation. And so what I mean by that is, if you want a better physique and you want to, you know, build a bigger chest or, you know, women always want to work on their legs and their butt, right? And you, and you really want to change the tissue and the muscle. When you do the exercises, specifically we're talking about weightlifting or anything for that matter, right? If you're training for a sport and you want to get better at football, you've got to do a specific type of training. Whenever you do that specific type of training with the specific goal in mind, You've got to, we'll take for instance, you're a guy and you wanna build a bigger chest. If you wanna build a bigger chest, you go and you do some bench press or even just push-ups or any type of pushing exercise where you're using your pecs and your triceps. What you're doing is you are stimulating the muscle. And what you're doing is when you stimulate the muscle, and this is why you have to have a quality training session, you stimulate the muscle, you go home and now you rest, you focus on your sleep, your water intake, making sure you're getting enough protein and the right amount of calories. 
when you rest and recover and you've given your body the tools it needs to recover, now all of a sudden your body adapts, right? So you're benching up, you know, 135 pounds with a, you know, 40, 145 pound plate on each side and you really push yourself and say you're shooting for 10 reps, but you can only get seven and the seven, oh my God, you barely got it. Well, what you've done is you send a signal to your body that stimulates change. You're saying, hey, shoot, we need to get to 10 reps. We're not strong enough to do this. We've got to adapt. And so you stimulate the body with the weightlifting, you go home, you rest, you recover, you focus on nutrition. That's what allows the muscle to adapt and get stronger. So then you go in, you go and do bench press again. All of a sudden you're able to do that 135 pounds. You're able to do it 10 times now rather than seven, all because you stimulated the muscle with weightlifting and you allowed it to adapt. And as your muscle adapts more and more, and it's this process of stimulation, adaptation, stimulation, adaptation, stimulate, adaptation, and you do this over and over again, this is what changes your muscle tissue. This is what changes your physique. This is how exercise physiology works. Um, and specifically, you know, 99% of people watching this video or even out there, uh, most of their fitness goals is everybody wants to see physical changes in their body. They want to see it. This is how it's done. So how does this relate to the topic of the video again? This is why it's so important to have quality training sessions when you're working out, when you're lifting, because again, if you go in the gym and you half ass it and you go through the motions, you don't really push yourself, you're not stimulating the muscle, you're not stimulating and sending the signals to your muscle, to your body, to your mind, that hey, I need to get stronger. So if you have a poor quality uh, training session, you just go through everything half ass nothing's going to change because you're not working hard enough or intensely enough in order to send that signal to the body to change. So you've got to create the intensity. Now, how do we do this? Because every day, God, you know, if you wake up, say you're married, you've got a couple of kids, you've got a full-time career, you know, you're up at five, 6 a.m., you got to get the kids to school, you go to work all day, and you're like, Shh, I can barely get in the gym, let alone create an intense training session. So how do we create intensity once we're there? This is where obviously consistency comes in. Every training session isn't gonna be an all-star training session. You're not gonna knock the freaking ball out of the park and have the best workout of your life. You're gonna have days that are gonna fluctuate. This is why consistency is so important because even if you're trying your best and before you know, you've been going consistently, and again, we'll use that bench press, say, uh, oh man, I got to 135 pounds, I could do it for 10 reps, great. And then the next training session, even though you've been resting, you've been on your food and your sleep and stuff, maybe you only get to eight reps, you go, well, what the hell, man? Like, I don't understand, I'm getting weaker, oh my God, and you freak out after one session. No, 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 you continue to go because this is the difference between training and just working out. What you're doing and the difference is when you go consistently, you're training specifically to make changes in your body. So that training over time on a structured program Everything, it's not, it's non-linear, right? It's not gonna go in this beautiful straight line. Your progress is gonna be like a, a little zigzag graph. If you consistently train though over time with the intention of training quality sessions, you're gonna see this nice elevated increase in your progress and therefore this is what's gonna happen to your body or this is what, what's gonna create the changes in your body. So the intensity levels of very, very important, the quality of your training sessions. And this, how do we create quality? Well, you've got to think about it like this. Quality comes down to the quality of your sets and the quality of your repetitions. So you've heard this before. Okay, great. I need to focus on form. The reality is most people don't, even though they know it, they go, yeah, yeah, I need to focus on form. Okay, great. And they go in and they lift. But if you watch your, if you've ever filmed yourself or just watch yourself do a set, you can tell if you're doing quality repetitions or sets. Now, what do I mean by this? When you look at the gym and you see people who are really in shape, this guy or this girl who's really fit, right? You can tell the muscles, the definition, you can tell they're on the nutrition and stuff. If you watch them do their exercises compared to someone with just a mediocre body, you know, and even if they are there, all, say, say you've been going to the same gym, and this happens all the time, you go to the gym and you'll look at these people and they look exactly the same and maybe they've been going there for months or years and consistently go but they actually don't see any changes in their body. 
if you watch the difference between how those people train and they do their exercises and each set and repetition they do compared to those people who are really, really fit, you will see a very big difference in the quality of their sets, the quality of their reps, and the quality of their movements. You can tell when you're lo looking at someone who's, you know, how you want to look and they're very, you know, developed, they're muscular, they're defined, you can tell that they are moving with intention, their sets, each repetition is crisp, it's repetitive, they're set up and it looks like a machine, like boom, 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 boom. It's just automatic, right? And then if you look at that person who's maybe been going for a long time and hasn't seen any changes in their body, they're just going like, well, right? You get the picture. It's little all over the place. It's that consistent, repetitive, boom, 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 just mechanical quality movement. So you've got to focus on quality movements, quality repetitions, and this starts by focusing on your form. As you create consistency with the quality of your repetitions and the quality of your form, this turns into a quality workout. And as you have intense quality workouts, again, this is what forces you to stimulate and then adapt and then stimulate and adapt. So if you're not seeing changes in your body, you may need to change your program, the types of exercises you're doing, is it geared? You heard me go on that little you know, tirade about using the word specific a bunch. This is a principle of exercise science, specificity. You want a specific result, you've gotta change, or you've gotta have a specific program to get that specific result, A to B, right? So you may need to change your program, you may need to work on your recovery, meaning your sleep quality, are you getting enough sleep? Obviously your nutrition, are you getting the right amount of calories and proteins? Are you eating the right types of foods? Are you eating a bunch of processed crap or eating out? Or are you eating nice whole unprocessed foods with minimal sugar and extra crap in it, right? So these are the things that matter that you've got to address if you're not seeing results. But if you wanna see results, a great way to focus on it is to focus on the quality of your training sessions and really going in there, nailing down the form, having repetitive mechanical movements over and over because again, what this does is it stimulates your body to change, you go home and you recover and you adapt. So don't be afraid to reach out for help. That's why I'm making these videos. Obviously, I'm an online coach. There's a ton of information out there. Just make sure you find a coach that you trust and is knowledgeable and that resonates with you and that's gonna be the right person for you to work with. But don't be afraid to ask for help because if you're not seeing results, again, it might be your training program. It might be other variables. If you have a lot of stress in your life, it's gonna be hard to change your body uh, just for a lot of reasons. Stress just wreaks havoc on the body, so you got to address whatever mental, emotional life issues you need to to get your stress and your stress management, your ability to cope with these things under wraps as well. If you wanna make a physique change, it can be any number of things. So again, the best thing to do is if you're stuck, ask for help, ask for professionals is what we do and can help you assess what is going on and recommend the changes you need to make because that's also frustrating when you're going in and you're putting time in day after day week after week, month after month, and you're not seeing the results that you want and you're wondering what the hell is going on. So hopefully that was helpful. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions, uh, like and comment, subscribe, um, have my email in here, and obviously I am a coach, so if you're interested in working one-on-one, -on -one, go ahead and click the link as well. Love you and I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Peace.